So, YouTube family, Travis Hunter once again is making raves around the globe, that is, not just domestically, but internationally. Travis Hunter has now somewhat decided what NFL team he would like to play with. Before we get started, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and thank you for rocking out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live movement. Without further ado, I'm still going to tell you like I told her, give me my theme song. <laughs> Watching in the mix of things and as far as what's going on with the Travis Hunter situation, we fully understand that he is a prime NFL talent. But a lot of people are spec speculating, is it going to be Tupac Shador, the number one pick, or Travis Hunter? Or Bison is going to come into play that prohibits him from becoming a number one pick? We don't know, but we know GMs are not going to pass, stop, uh, pass up on either one of those guys. Even if they fall to the top 10 pick or top 15, going in the first round of the NFL draft is a great thing. In fact, if you're a football player, you would want to be selected at any realm of the spectrum. That is if you're not Tupac Shador and Travis, meaning you're a regular college guy, you're real good. You just want to be offered any position even if it's on the practice squad because once you get into the realms of the actual practices and games then hence what is a chosen one so your talent will get to surpass all the other crap they show but let's get on today's story of travis hunter now travis had a lot of uh, speculations on this article that was written about him. You've seen a lot of people were saying Colorado Buffalo stars here quickly becoming one of the most recognized, you know, blase, blase. We know this already. You guys can pause that and read it if you want to. But his past breakups, his efficiency on the offensive side and both the defensive side of things is showing you the skill level exists. Uh, NFL scout could only be drooling for a guy like Travis Hunter right now. A NFL scout could only be seeing the plus sides and, and little bit of the flaws because there, there are flaws in any prospects. But if the talent outweighs any of these flaws, you can't pass up on a selected serviceable player like that. Now, before I get started, I want you guys to know the Heisman. The Heisman Trophy, that is, is something that players deem for, you know, uh, and, and dream about. It's not just something you want to get to be remembered on the NFL level. You know if NFL things don't go right, look at your guys like Eric Crouch and so many other notable Heisman winners who will never be remembered. Let's just be honest, like as far as the NFL-wise. But college will always remember them. It'll be get sub substantiated there more than what you're seeing in other places. But when I look at his NFL team, he's choosing to pick. Let's go more further with this article. So the article is showing you basically highlights of what we knew already. So when I was reading it more, I was re remember when we break these news with you, some of these I'm looking it together for the first time like you to be fresh about it now espn nfl draft analyst mel kuyper jr considers hunter to be the best overall prospect in the country ranking him number one in his latest big board for next year's draft now let's keep reading on prospects don't get the luxury of picking where they land at the next level hey but they do get to choose we seen hey, let me just say this we seen eli manning choosing where he wanted to go so let's not listen to a lot of the hoopalas of the of what they're saying if you got some genesis qua into you people know you have a right to pick where you i mean stevie francis in the nba did the same thing when he didn't want to go to the grizzlies and forced his way to the houston rockets let's get back to reading more of this now it's letting you know i never feel uh, i mean uh, it says hunter he wishes to be back in colorado and play for the denver broncos when he does decide to take the next step i never feel uncomfortable or not safe he said on his kicking it with d 
guessing. I wish I could go to the Broncos just to stay in Colorado. I mean, to stay in Colorado because so much people just welcomed us with open arms and they showed us love that we wouldn't have gotten in a different spot. So right there, that deters a lot of the things people are telling you about Travis, whether it does him and Shador, you know, do they love being at Colorado? You can clearly see the guys love being there. It's not something that hijacks their situation away from it you know what i mean besides a lot of people who throw a little bit jabs here and there i clearly see where he's going with it now i wanted to stop the show just to show you guys my beautiful brother my son sebastian the cat i said i'm gonna make him a star so run the likes up for sebastian right quick man um ladies and gentlemen it's official he's family now He's been walking around our house for years. No, I'm exaggerating, but for at least five months, you know, just an alley cat, I think, or maybe a previous owner, but he's been missing for a while. We put up the pictures on ring. Hopefully someone knows him now and, and let us, you know, show proof because if I love him like this, I know the previous owners had to, but he has adopted us, not us adopting him. So, you know what I mean? We don't trap him here or anything like that. We fed them, and they did say if you feed these cats, they become your family. That was not a lie. But let's continue forward. So watching the Heisman things going on right now, I like seeing Travis well orchestrating himself into an NFL team. What more better team than uh, to gratiate yourself to the Denver Broncos? You already have time light and limelight in boulder so that represents the entire state of colorado to my personal liking because any any uh, uh uh how you say it any publicity to colorado it's great publicity nonetheless let's move forward with what we were talking about and what we were showing so the article leaves out with the west palm beach florida native revealed that his neighbors in boulder i'm I think they messed up and don't realize he's also from Georgia as well, but definitely born and raised in Florida, moved out of Florida when he was only 12 years old. But I, I, I kind of, as the Florida guy in me, I love how they put the West Palm Beach Florida native. But, you know, to reveal you want to go to the Broncos, bruh, is, is letting people know the guy also sees himself as an NFL talent and he wants to be part of the NFL brotherhood because it is a brotherhood. No matter what media pundits put out there, negative press, you know, whatever. It's a great environment to be part of. Now, when I look at Travis, the only thing I don't want people to do with him is denigrate him because of people around him they don't like, like a Coach Sanders or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> We know what they don't like. We know when it comes to Coach Prime. I, I think we know what comes with the Prime effect, good and bad. So I'm gonna let Joe Clatt tell you once again, like he said last year. No, and Deion Sanders in the next, let me backtrack for a moment. If someone wants to paint Colorado and Deion Sanders in the negative light, it's gonna be that times 10 because of the Prime effect. If someone wants to paint him in a positive light, it's gonna be that times 10 because of the Prime effect. So, no, and Deion Sanders so you got to understand that, man. There's going to be things swaying all around, going left and right, but you just got to bring it back to be coming towards a total balance. And I think Travis Hunter is presenting a total balance in a player that you need, both on the field and off the field. You know what I mean? He's clearly trying to be a family man. Um, some people, you you pre-warned him about getting involved in these relationships or whatnot, but he seems to have a woman in his life who's grounded and he's grounded as well it seems to make him more disciplined because i do think if you find the right focus and the right woman around you family life has always been great for the professionals in the world now if you're not considered a professional this don't really apply to you even though it can but the works you go towards you're in your daily jobs or whatever that's a profession as well and you're you're having a complete total focus because of the things and responsibilities that you have to do. So shout out to Travis Hunter, man, and everybody out here, man. I'm your guy, DJ Bless, one the best one. Love your family, love your kids, and truly indeed, just remember to stay blessed. But without further ado, like I tell them to tell you, man, give me my theme song. I've been so many times I'm
Now I thought I was 